Welcome to this session titled Managing Dashboards and KPIs in SAV Business One HANA. My name is Alfred Ayodeji, a senior consultant with Tegris Consulting, and I will be taking you through this session. I'm going to jump right in and open my SAP Business One window. And the first thing I see is um, a click button saying click to get started. So what this button does is it opens your widget gallery, which enables you select what KPIs or dashboards you want to add to your SAP Business One window. So I'm going right into it. I click on the button and I see a widget gallery. This basically is a library co containing all um, dashboards and KPIs that SAP Business One provides you with out of the box. In the next session, when we talk about creating or customizing um, our very own KPIs and dashboards, um, customized dashboards and KPIs will also appear in this window. Um, for the sake of this demo, I will select a couple of dashboards and a couple of KPIs. I start by selecting my top five customers by receivables and selecting uh, a KPI or dashboard to appear on your SAP Business One window or SAP Business One screen is as easy as clicking the plus button. I have said I want my top five customers by receivables amount um, dashboard to appear on my screen. So I select this, I go back, I click on the save button and there it is, my top five customers by receivables overdue dashboard. If I do not like how this is looking and I want to adjust the size, I can easily do this by clicking the edit button and adjusting this dashboard as required. Easy enough. Next, I would want to add a couple of KPIs. Again, I click on this edit button, click on add, and it takes me back to my widget library. Now I can go to my KPI section and I see a list of um, SAP Business One KPIs. Um, what do I want to add? I want to add my gross profit. I want to see my total assets and my total liabilities. Just like I did before, I click on the back button, click on save, and these KPIs have also been added to my screen. Uh, now I see that my gross profit KPI has no um, value or has no, yeah, basically has no value, meaning I do not have data in the system for whatever period this KPI is fetching data from. So I can easily go back to my edit mode, drag my gross profit KPI to the bottom right corner of my screen where I have my recycle bin. And just like that, I have gotten rid of my um, faulty KPI. Again, I can go back into my widget library. And let's say now I want to add, basically I want to add a workflow. I click on my sections, go to workbench say hey what do i want to see do i want to see the sales process on my screen the purchasing process on my screen the financial process on my screen for the sake of this demo i would click on the sales process go back save this and there it is i have my sales process for um, my sales employee or whoever or another SAP Business One user to see and from this um, sales process workbench I can 
easily go into other windows relating to my sales process. For instance, if I want to go to into my AR invoice screen or my AR invoice and payment screen, I can click on my AR invoice and it opens up my AR invoice or click on the drop down which opens additional or gives me additional options of windows I can go into relating to my AR invoice. Again, I can go back to my edit mode. I say, hey, I don't like how this is looking yet. Yes, I love the information on my screen, but I do not like how it looks. It looks, it looks kind of messy. So I go back to my edit mode and move this around a little bit. Save this and perfect. It looks more presentable. So thank you guys for joining me on this session. And if you have any questions, please email support at tegrisconsulting.com and we'll get back to you. Thank you.